the B Lab movement, the B Corp movement is all about. So it's a movement of people. So I, I like balls and uh, squares and rectangles and graphs, but I prefer people. And I think this is really the powerful thing about this whole movement, the movement of people uh, that is using business as a force for good. So as exactly as Awara was mentioning this morning, business is used as a force for good, as opposed to being the main, main reason for existing. And every movement is a dream, right? We have a dream, and what's the dream of B Corp? That all companies will compete, and it's a very nice competition to have, to be the best for the world. So imagine how great if your company could say, I'm one of the best companies for the world. That's something that people enjoy, especially in business. But then the question is, how do you actually measure this? So this is where the benefit impact assessment that uh, I know a number of companies went through, uh, that basically gives you a number. And the, the logic here is that if you are lower than 80, which is 99.9% .9 of companies, then you're actually making a profit, but not really contributing to society. Why don't we put in place a framework to the companies or to the market or to the economic part of the society that is going to pursue the values instead of money? Of course, companies have to earn money. Of course, companies have to earn more money than the costs are. This is a need. They have to do the balance, the financial balance. But we have to complement it with a common good balance, we call it, like the impact assessment in, in, in B Corp. And then we are going to measure what a company contributes to the common good or what, like B Corp says, what really matters. What really matters is not money. Money is a means. What is the end? The end is that we live in societies where we live the values that we have. And this is what we do in the economy for the common good.